Let God be your mouthpiece. Let God be your mouthpiece. Welcome back, everybody, to another Real Talk. I pray you are still doing well and having a wonderful blessed day as we give the Most High all the honor, the glory, and all the praise and worship. This here is a video response back to you, um, Living Witness 81. Not just to you, but to all the people around the world who have a speech impediment. Um, some may say a, a stuttering problem. And I grew up with quite a few people like this. And some, um, they grew up, you know, and they, they grew out of it. Let me just say it like that. And then some, to this day, they may just do it a little bit. And I read your email twice, matter of fact. Very powerful, very strong, very encouraging. But then you have that point in there where you're ready to give up because the way people laugh at you. <laughs> Let me say this to you. People going to always talk about you. They're going to always laugh. They're going to always laugh at you. It's going to always be somebody nitpick everything you do. And I want to do this video to encourage you. And I want, I want, I want you to go back to Exodus chapter 4. Because there was a man by the name of Moses, we all know who that is, who had a speech impediment. If you really catch the scripture, Moses said, I don't speak right. I don't speak well. I don't have the right words. And the Most High told Moses something that should have shook him up. He said, did not not make the mouth. I will be with you and I will tell you what to speak. What's the title of this video again? Let y'all be my mouthpiece. Don't worry about the ones laughing at you. So what if you talk a little slower than others? Let me tell you something. I know people that talk slow, and they some of the most wisest, intelligent, successful people that I know. That's why it's our, it's our job to encourage each other also to lift each other up, to listen to one another, to praise one another, not worship one another, but praise each other when we do good. Hey, brother. Hey, sister. You did an awesome job. You say you want to continue to speak the word, but you letting all the negative stuff make you want to stop. You're not living for them, my brother. When you can get this in your mind, said that the most high qualifies the caller. Because the Bible says many are called, but only a few are chosen. Only a few. Now, I know you got people out here that like to pray long prayers, use fancy words, big words, pump their chest out like the Pharisees in the Bible. As I'm reminded of a comment yesterday, I had to laugh at and I know he's looking at this video because he always look at me to nitpick everything I say and do. And I'm going to say it in this video. First of all, let me give a shout out to Redis R.T. husband. Gippy left a comment, you know, about the Holy Spirit that comes out of a person. But Strong G comes back and say, you're not a scholar like me. <laughs> I don't expect you to understand this and understand that. Because you are not a scholar. You're not a Bible scholar like me. And I left a comment saying a Bible scholar according to who? Because most time has no respect of persons. And if you got any, any type of degree, any type of seminary school, you've been taught by some man. And that's why I love when Gibby said, I take the Holy Spirit any day. And I'm saying that to you to say this. Let them laugh. Let them hate. Let them talk bad about you. Because people that use big words, they don't understand. It takes two small words just to make two. It takes small words just to make big words. The most times not, is not concerned about who speaks the best. That's why when I'm speaking, you hear me say, teach Holy Spirit. What comes out of me is the most high speaking through me. Anybody got a problem with that, they got a problem with the most high. 
Everybody want to sit up and talk about this and that. But when it comes down to it, what are you doing for kingdom building? Are you are you building up or are you tearing down? And see, people like you talking about in your email, they tearing down. And they're going to have to answer to that on Judgment Day. You don't have to be no big time scholar. Look at Paul. Paul knew a lot. Paul could speak more than one language. Paul had many accolades. He even showed you that. He said, with everything that I learned, I pretty much had to counter this doodle because he wasn't teaching the Holy Spirit. He was a persecutor of the Christians. He was in a high-ranking spot, but Paul didn't have nothing without the Holy Spirit. And that's the same thing I'm going to say for a scholar. If you went to school, got your degree, amen, hey, shout out to you. But a degree without the Holy Spirit, you ain't got nothing. And there are a lot of scholars out here that don't have the Holy Spirit. All you got to do is watch their actions. Versus a little old nobody like me, like they call me. Here come that little nobody. He ain't got no degree. He didn't go to seminary school. I hope this helped you, brother, because I deal with this every day from different people who ain't nothing like I call them. They haters. All they can do is wait for your next video to nitpick everything you do. And like I said, you go to their page, they don't have nothing. They talk all this scholar and this and that, and they don't have nothing helping nobody. And then they quick to say, well, I don't do stuff on camera. On what? We don't know that. I don't know what you're doing. But you know what I'm doing. What I'm doing is on and off camera, whether you believe me or not. You, I don't I don't expect half of the people to believe a fourth of what I say come out of my mouth because I have more haters than people that really understand what I'm talking about. So, I said the same thing, brother, when when I realized I had the car on my life, I said, no, you know what, Father, I don't, I don't think I'm the one for this. I started doubting myself a long time ago. And then he showed me the same thing he told Moses, who make the mouth? First of all, I had to get my mouth cleaned up. I had to get straightened up because I was, I was a cussing fool. I ain't scared to tell nobody that. I was a cussing fool. And I said, you're you going to mess around. You want me to teach. I'm going to mess around and cuss some of these Christians out. I'm just keeping it real with you. My mouth wasn't right. And I said the same thing. I didn't have no speech impediment. me. I had to cuss you out impediment. me. <laughs> but I'm, I, that was the old me. And that's what I love about the Bible because the Bible shows you the good and the downfall of mankind. Where I'm at now, I ain't always been here, you know. And that's why I have patience. I looked at I looked at one of your videos. You're not slow. They just ain't caught what you said yet. <laughs> now, how you look at look at it like that? Look at it like that. Whether you read slow or fast, the question is: Are you understanding and comprehending what you read? And from what I see in your email, you ain't slow. That's the same problem I had when I was doing piano teachings on here. Some people say you're teaching too fast, JT. Then some people say, can you slow down? It don't matter what you do, somebody's going to always have a problem with what you're doing. So keep that in mind. But you use that voice. You use that voice because that voice was, was, was made that way for you. Your voice, your voice carries. Some people may say you got a slow voice, but you got a strong voice. People tell me my voice too loud. They think I'm fussing at them when this is just a normal way that I talk. So it's one thing, like I keep telling you, brother, when somebody know you, but versus somebody they know of you. When you know somebody, you you, you know their heart. You know the tree by its fruit. You know they're not trying to harm you. You know they love you. And I'm going to tell you something about scholars. Because like I said, I deal with a lot of them fools on it. I'm going to say the word fools because that's how they act. And the strong G want to take it to the heart, take it to the heart. Because he always leaving the most stupid comments and questions that ain't got nothing to do with getting into heaven. Ain't got nothing to do with salvation. Ain't got nothing to do with you getting saved. A scholar is going to always nitpick. If they see you writing, they're going to get on your punctuation. 
You didn't put a period right there, brother. You didn't put a comma right there. When I went to school, they always going to throw their degree in your face, so you might as well be ready for that. I went to such and such, and, and, and you don't have a degree like I do, so that means you better? No, it don't. Don't let that get to you. See, if I was to let that get to me, I would never do another video. If you notice, I've been on YouTube since YouTube been YouTube, and I don't plan on going nowhere. I stay ready for haters, and, and, and that's that's why they show you how silly they are, because they won't never leave you alone. They're going to always come back and make themselves look like the fool they are to do this. And I'm not talking about all, because I know some great Bible scholars that don't act like that. It's kind of like the Hebrew Israelite brothers. I, all of them don't act like them ones on the corner, you know, that's hollering at folks with their Bible, talking about Noah and screaming at the sisters. Everybody don't act like that. There are some that, that are scholars and, and, and they don't even act nowhere like that. Some of the best preachers, pastors I know, never went to anybody's school. Some of the best singers I ever heard in my life ain't never took a lesson for singing. Some of the best piano players, musicians, period. Some of the most, some of everything that I know have never, ever went to school a day in their life. And just because you don't go to college don't mean you can't be successful. That's another thing I want to tell you reading your email. Don't worry about all that. Let me tell you something. You're looking at a brother right here that have taught thousands and thousands and thousands of people how to play the piano from scratch free of charge and I and I mean this out of love I'm not saying this to brag I'm saying this to state facts talk people that went to school people that went to Berkeley people that, that get out of school and say hey man how did you learn all this because they didn't show us this in college how did you learn the tricks and trait studying Holy Spirit hooking up with others there's always another way when you think it's not a way you only run out of options when you stop looking for options how about that so like I keep saying let your voice be heard I grew up with a partner like this he uh we went to we went to high school together everybody would laugh at how he stutter laugh but he was a a on a roll. He was the smartest, one of the smartest in the school. He just he he would he would try to talk before he think. And I never laughed at him. I always said, bro, you notice where some people are weak at, they are very strong in other areas. I said people may laugh at you, but them them the same ones trying to copy your homework. They laugh at you, but them the same ones leaning over trying to figure out, say, bro, what's the answer to such and such? See, you always get the laugh. You see who get the last laugh. So like I say, you remind me of Moses in the Bible. Moses, this this is how powerful our God is, the most high Yah is. He show you that you don't need nobody else. If he got a task for you to do, he would tell you, just like he told Abraham, get out your father's house. I'm about to send you somewhere. Just like he told Moses. Let's go, Moses. Moses start, he started down himself. We all, most of us are guilty of that. That's how that's how you, you mess up at first. But Moses said, I don't speak well, I don't speak eloquently. I just I don't have it. I, I the most time wasn't worried about that. And if you read the scripture, you keep reading. The Bible said that made the most that made the most high very angry. Because all he needed was the most high. But Moses still kept talking about I, I need. So God said, I'm okay. Get your brother Aaron. And see, this is another something to make it. I'm trying not to preach here. Get your brother Aaron, and we're gonna take Aaron with us, and we'll use him to speak as well. But look at the trouble that Aaron caused. What's your point, JT? Sometimes when you think you need other folks, you better be careful with that. And you better be careful who you got riding along with you. Because when you look at the idolatry and the the, the, the uh, making them other gods, Aaron played a big part of that. Now I always said, what would have happened if he would have left Aaron at the house? Mm. 
But let me close out before I start preaching. Let your let your voice be heard. And just remember, like the most high told Moses, I made the mouth. Don't worry about what people think about that. Speak and continue to speak. And I guarantee you, more people will hear you. More people will hear you. So I love you. Want to encourage you with that. And you have a wonderful, wonderful blessed day. To anybody around the world looking at this video. I remember Steve Harvey used to have a stuttering problem back in the day. And Steve Harvey, he he kept practicing on it. He, he don't stutter no more. He tell people about that all the time. He had a bad stuttering problem. But, he, you know what? As he says, the more he prayed, there is nothing too hard for the most high. So, that's my word to you this morning. You have a wonderful, wonderful, blessed day. Shalom.